think we packed enough food, Scott? Oh, I'm sure we did, Nika. If not, you can always eat like the old timers on the trail. Mix up some cactus pulp and lizard tails. Lizard tails? I think I'd rather starve. Aw, oh, you're just kidding me. <laughs> How'd you get it? Yeah, let's see. There's that map that we went over with your dad last night. Yeah, that's an interesting area. Because it's a real opportunity to take all these old routes and make them into good hiking and riding trails. Now, it should take us, oh, most of the day to reach the old mining town. Might even make it our overnight camp. Hey, that's the ghost town I read about. You don't worry about a few old ghosts, are you? I guess not. We're only staying there one night, aren't we? <laughs> that's all. I have to fly to New York for that meeting day after tomorrow. You won't have to worry about Lassie while you're gone, Scott. Me and Dad will take good care of her. I know you will. That's why I'm leaving her with you. Section's rough. It's gonna have to be cleared for riders. Country, isn't it? I'll say. You miss Alaska? Oh, I guess, but I'm sure having fun here. Especially having my own horse and seeing Lassie again. That's the best part. Well, I'd say it was mutual. Hey, we haven't got too much daylight left. It's still about two miles to that old mining town. You ready? As ready as I'll ever be, I guess. Let's take a look in that hotel. Might be a good place to settle down for the night. Okay. Nika. Just a loose shutter, that's all. Look, son, I know it's natural to be a little frightened of the unknown, 
But believe me, in this old town, there's nothing to worry about. You coming? Yes, sir. Come on, Laffy. There's nothing to worry about. for cooking? Not too bad, huh? Scott? Hmm? Do you believe in ghosts? I've never seen one. But that doesn't mean there isn't such a thing. Tell you what, if we meet any ghosts, we'll invite them to supper, okay? No, I'm serious. Nathan, what's this all about? There's an old book back at the lodge, a history of the whole area. It tells about this town and the legend of the wolf. Ghost wolf? It was real, 50 years ago. Then it attacked some man, and before he died, he killed it. Then the legend says that the wolf and sometimes the man come back and haunt this town. Mm. So that's what's been bothering you ever since we rode in here, huh? I'm not saying it's true or anything. I was just wondering. Nika, you said it was a legend. And legends are just that. Stories handed down from the past. And not even necessarily true. So until we see you here otherwise, we shouldn't let ourselves worry about it. Right? Yeah, I guess. Okay. Come on, let's get the gear unpacked. Yes, sir. Thanks, Nika. Take this and hobble the horses, then pick up some firewood. Yes, sir.
sounds like a, a wolf. probably wouldn't believe me. Why don't you give me a try? You said not to worry unless we see or hear something. That's right. Well, Lassie and I heard that wolf. <laughs> ghosts. I just know what I heard. Lassie heard it, too. Nika, believe me, there's an explanation for everything. Wind can play tricks on your ears. Maybe. <laughs> Just the wind again. The wind to knock these things off the counter. Okay. you and I talk. You know, when I was your age, I lived in Chicago. It's a big city. A lot of old houses. Well, there was this particular house. And uh, it was all boarded up and creaking with age. All of us kids were certain it was haunted. And no one, but no one could tell us there wasn't a ghost living there. And did it? Well, one night we had to find out for ourselves, you see? So the three of us went over there crawl through a basement window. Well, I tell you, we heard sounds and noises that scare you half to death. What was it? It turned out to be an old hobo who found a home there, found a nice place to sleep, and I guess he enjoyed scaring us kids. But when you're young, you get carried away. But do you know something else? That's part of being young. You have a vivid imagination. Well? I guess Lassie sure got an imagination, too. Hmm? She heard that wolf. Oh, boys and dogs, they're a lot alike. I think they get tired about the same time, too. So why don't you just crawl in there, get yourself all settled down, and try to get some sleep. I'll stay right here. <laughs> well, I like the wind has spooked the horses. I better check on them. You want to come along? No. Lassie and I will be fine. OK. Be right back.
get out of here. Right here. What's wrong? It was a ghost wolf. I saw him. Nika, are you sure you saw something? I saw his eyes and the shadows. Where? Come on. Let's take a look. He's there. Nika. Come here, son. Is that what you saw? That's knot holes in the fence. You see? Moonlight shining through made it look like eyes. But even Lassie thought there was something. Well, I guess Lassie was fooled, too. Looks like her imagination's as strong as yours. But the shadows and the sounds, I didn't imagine that. No, I'm sure you saw shadows and heard sounds. But it wasn't a ghost, I promise you. Now, come on, we got a long ride back tomorrow. Let's get some sleep.
Lassie. Wait here, Nika. No, sir, I'm staying right with you. to be anything here now, nigga. But she might have seen the ghost. Nika, there is no ghost. Well, let's get back to sleep, huh? I just can't sleep anymore, Scott. Okay. It'll be light in an hour. We can get an early start. Maybe in the light of day, we can give your imagination a rest. I think it's a good idea. <laughs> You're really anxious to leave, aren't you? I sure am. Come on. You hear something again? I don't know. I'm not sure. <laughs> Guess I never will be. <laughs> Let's go. Thank you.